Hello, my name is Olga Soto and I work for the University of Nevada uh, Reno Extension with the program Pregnancy Parenting. I'm a CBI 4 and I teach parenting classes in the community. And today I want to bring you uh, a fun uh, activity that you can do with your family. It's called Paper Mache and uh, you can make any type of a sculpture. So today what I'm going to show you is how to make kind of like, uh, like a ball type and then um, the first step that you will need is water and white flour and you, uh, depending on how many balloons you want to make you put more water or more flour. When you add the flour to the water make sure you just have to check, check the consistency that it's not too thick or too light. You want it in the middle. Once you have the mixture of the flour with the water then you're going to have already um, made a balloon. You're going to have your balloon ready it could be like a medium sized balloon, you can make a large balloon, it depends on how big you want your sculpture, and uh, already pre uh, pre cut pieces of paper. So, uh, what you're going to do is um, get your strips of paper, put it in the mixture, and then you're going to cover the balloon. Of course, it doesn't have uh, the, the uh, flour, when you put the flour, it gets really thick and it could get, get kind of messy. That's why it's a good activity to do out, outdoors. Once you cover all the balloon, you're going to need like three layers. Uh, uh, make sure you don't see the glue no more. And it usually takes like three layers. Make sure you do one and then another and then another until you don't see the glue of your balloon. Um, usually now with the hot weather, the hot days, if outside if you leave it in a place where your sculpture is not going to move or roll, you'll get a nice round uh, sculpture and it takes up two, three days. That's how my, uh, long it took hours. We made three of them and let me show you, um, this is what came out. So we had, as you can hear, they're nice and hard and ready to decorate. You could make any type of uh, craft that you want. Uh, you could even cut them in half. If you have like a little saw, cut them in half and you could make a nice mask. Um, you could make put, uh, feathers and glitter and they look pretty cute when you make the mask. But today we're just gonna leave the, the shape of the balloon and come up with something round. Um, this is Tristan and he's coloring his, what color? Orange. orange. So he's doing his orange. But let me show you what I made with mine. I made myself a fish. So all I did is uh, color my my paper my, my um, brown um, sculpture in all blue. And I added some colors. And then I put construction paper to make the fins and the face. But you could do anything you want. When uh, one suggestion when you uh, use the paper for the wrapping, the strips of paper, make sure you use uh, some type of thin paper. This time I use butcher paper. Uh, it's usually um, they recommend to use newspaper. But if you're gonna have the children around doing it, um, uh, newspaper is not recommended because all the ink falls off and it stays in their hands and, and they get really dirty so uh, preferably just use plain paper so they can help you uh, cover their balloon and until it dries up and then you can make your sculpture. Thank you, hope you like my video and hope you like my uh, Put it in the, 